Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. We want black power. We want black power. We want black power. We want black power. We want black this is not a regular, this is that oh blah blah blah, some may call it secular, I just call it black black black, smoke this coffee, book me that tea, bring that army, black black black, smell the Mexican Kwame Torre, this is where I'm at, at, at. if you wanna talk to me, talk to me about black black black, Holy Salasi the first, niggas the last, let's talk about that that that, the boom, Yanni Maroon and all of Maroons, let's talk about that that that, the real underground railroad, the Subway for black, black, black. The freedom train begins with your brain. Get in on track, track, track. Whether justice or injustice, how did you react? Attack. Can you stand there laughing when they shoot us in the black, black, black? This is what some rappers sound like every time they clap, clap, clap. I'm raising up the red and the green and the black, black, black. Even when no cops in the hood, we still hear click, click, clack, clack, clack. I cannot forget my ancestors just because I rap, rap, rap. Look at me from top to bottom. Can your rest is black, black, black? Get up, get out, speak up, speak out, reach up, reach out. This is what black about. Get up, get out, speak up, speak out, reach up, reach out. This is what I rap about. Get up, get out, speak up, speak out, reach up, reach out. Too many selling out. Get up, get out, reach up, reach out, lift up, lift out. Yes, I'm oh, trying to ask the question now. Are you really black, black, black? It is not a mystery. We under attack, attack, attack. If you're chatting for free, you hold our people black, black, black. Time to put aside the fantasy and deal with black, black, black. This is not the time to be talking. All that crap, crap, crap. Those that talk that crap, crap, crap. Or those that don't fight back, back, back. You can say what you like, but real skill. I never lack, lack, lack. Black is more a consciousness. The way you think and act, act, act. Yo, get up, get out. Speak up, speak out. Reach up, reach out. This is what black about. Get up, get out. Speak up, speak out. Reach up, reach out. This is what I rap about. Get up, get out, speak up, speak out, reach up, reach out, too many selling out, get up, get out, reach up, reach out, lift up, lift out, get out, lights up. We have stayed here and we bagged the president. We bagged the federal government. That's what we've been doing, bagging, bagging. It's time we stand up and take over. We have to do what every group in this country did. We got to take over the community where we outnumber people so we can have decent jobs, so we can have decent houses, so we can have decent roads, so we can have decent schools, so we can have decent justice. Hotel family, this is your RBG brother, Guy Nollywood Jr., coming to another exclusive live program. Um, today's topic is, let me screen share this. I want to screen share this. And today's topic is escapism. We're going to be talking about escapism. And 
I notice in this unconscious neighborhood, I won't even say community, <laughs> I will say this unconscious neighborhoods that we're experiencing, it's a lot of, they use knowledge as a form of escaping reality. They're not using it to, as far as a revolution, a revolutionary tool. And I noticed that. And that becomes some sort of hypocrisy. It brings a lot of hip, a lot of hypocrisy into their uh, among the people, I should say. They bring a lot of hypocrisy among the people. And when people ask questions and something don't make any sense, then they get upset or they come up with all these, these silly excuses. But I want to, um, I, before I get into this topic, because this actually this goes into my topic, um, I want to address a couple of things. Now, you know, a few weeks ago, we had some sisters on my panel. Shout out to Sister Leah Muhammad. Shout out to Sister Noble. And shout out to Karen. And, you know, these sisters came on my program and we did a four hour program. It was a four hour program. Let me get out of here. It was a four hour program. And we showed nothing but hard cold evidence against this psychopath demon. Nothing but evidence. We showed videos. Well, we didn't show video, but we showed the, the video. You see Aaliyah Muhammad. She had showed the paperwork. She was, she was married to this dude. How is she not going to have any type of evidence on this psychopath? We did a four hour thorough evidence because I don't go by hearsay. I don't go by, you know, uh, allegations or beliefs. I go by evidence and proof. That's what I go by. And what which, which like I said, that was the you know the last program that I did, and I just took a break. Um I went away for uh was out of I was out of the country for or for just this past week, just came back yesterday actually. So you know, take some time off, you know, relax a little bit. But that was a powerful program that I did. And again, it was just nothing but evidence. I mean, these sisters were abused and mistreated. And, um, and I'm glad I had them on my panel. I want to address a couple other things. I want to address some, something else. Um, I want to address something else real quick. Uh, let me address something else. Let me put this back up here. All 
I want to address these two clowns. Now, I don't know if these guys are government agents or what. But these guys, they, this guy, his beard, this guy looked like his beard is fake. I don't, I, they look like the same person. I don't know. But this dude's name is Soul Brother 85. And this guy's, this dude right here is named Twin Pyramid. And my whole thing is this I don't know these people. I don't know these guys, but these supposed to be uh, Uncle Ruckus' minions. These supposed to be his minions. And I notice Uncle Ruckus, he can, he can, he can be on, he could do a live show like five in the morning, and these guys are up listening to his 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 his, his trash. But I wanted to address <laughs> something that he said, and one of them said gay Nollywood. Well, Everybody know the original word gay means happy. The original word gay means happy. That's the original word. So I'm, I'm just gonna just educate these clowns. Cause they look like they look like they can pass for twins. I don't know if they twins or or this is the same people, but I think they're government agent. I think they're working for the government to cause a lot of confusion. But the reason why all of a sudden this word became a lifestyle because they thought homosexuals were not happy. Because back in the 50s and 40s, that was the original word. The word gay means happy. So they so of course the homosexuals took the word and said, no, we are happy. We are gay. So calling me that is not going to hurt me because I am happy. I'm a happy guy. So if you're saying that I'm happy, I'm, I'm, I am happy. So that, that the original word or the real meaning of gay means happy. So I don't, so I don't know, if that, I don't know how y'all, I don't know, soul brother, I don't know how that that name is hurting me. Then he says, "I have a '90s boombox. I have a '90s boombox. I don't know what year these guys were born, but the boombox been around since the mid '80s." And Twin Pyramid said I had some eight tracks. I don't even know. I don't even. I don't even know. I don't even know how to use an eight track. So let me educate these morons. What a boombox look like? Now let me let me educate. These, these morons with a boom box look like because everything in my house is up to date. Everything in my house is up to date. Because I'm, I'm up, I, I, everything, like I said, everything in my house is up to date. So let me educate these morons what a boom box look like. Now that's a boom box. That is what you call a boom box. I don't have a boom box. I don't live in a past like that. Okay? I don't even think they make the I don't even think they make boom box like that anymore. I haven't seen one in a long time. I had one back in the day when I was younger. You know, 
but I don't I don't have a boom box, so I don't know, but that's what a boom box look like. Now the A-track. Now these are what you call A-tracks. I don't even know how to use these things. I don't even know how to use these A tracks. These are old, and I think they've been around since 70s. I don't know. But the A track, I think they maybe longer than that. No, I don't I don't know how to use these things. Never had no A tracks. So I don't know where you could say, and, and for you to say the 90s boom box, no. The boombox came in the mid '80s. That's a mid. That's a mid '80. That's a that's a mid '80 um, thing right there. So I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what year these these guys were born, but it's obvious their timeline is is off. But I know somebody. Who might have these things because this person don't want to spend no money. He don't want to keep his place updated. And that's your B-Rab leader. That's your B-Rab leader. And every time when I look at this dude, this he looks like he looks like a turd. He looks like a human turd. This is your this is where every time when I see your leader, he looks like this turd creature right here. This man don't spend no money. That's why everything in his house is old. That's why he brags about the little money that he has. He act like he got real money. He has no responsibilities. He has no children. He has no grandchildren. I don't even think the man can even produce e any children. I don't think it's, I don't think his sperm count is probably re really low. You heard what his ex-wife said, he couldn't get it up. This is the reason why he don't he can't afford an AC. And you see him, he's sweating all in the videos. He's sweating all in the videos, <sighs> wiping off his bald head and his ugly ass face and his mouth with that dirty rag. Then you see, you saw. Another video where he got that old 80s fan, the silver one with the blue propellers. <laughs> with the blue propellers. I didn't see them joints since the 80s. But he said, I'm broke. Well, good. I'm glad you think that I'm broke. Because I don't want you asking me a debt for a damn thing. You say I'm broke, but you said I live in one of the richest cities in America. You say I'm broke, but you said my my I have a I, my cat had a gold diamond chain, but I'm broke. Hmm, that's weird. That's really weird. But I'm broke. So this man don't spend no money. He still got those old TVs, those old 20th TVs with the antenna. He still got those things in his house. He has not upgraded anything in his house. So so those so so those two minions, those two puppets, anybody that got a a a, a 80s mid 80s boombox And A tracks, the 20th century's TVs with the antennas. Anybody have those things is that dude right there.
him, Uncle Ruckus. That's who has these old technologies. Everything in my house is up is up to date. Because I don't live in the past. He does. This is the reason why I say, well, I don't care about these things. And, and da, 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 da. You don't care about nothing. And it's known with the evidence that was proven on my show. It's known that this man is a stalker. He went to jail for stalking somebody for 10 years. 10 years is a long time. That means he has a record. He's a cyber stalker. Okay, he's a pedophile, which it was proven. This is the reason why he's recruit he's recruiting young boys. Like he had this young dude on his show at 17 years old, 17. The kid was, was 17. Talking to a 17-year-old kid. You are a pedophile, a disgusting pedophile. And he's calling me an Arab. Well, in order for me to be an Arab, I have to have a Muslim name. I will have to be practicing Islam. But you, sir, Uncle Ruckus, turd face, you have a Islamic name. You practice Islam. You're a Arab wannabe. And now he's stalking one of these um one of these women from um from that group. What's her name? What's that girl's name? He's he's stalking now. Um I'll figure her out. From that chick from Evo, uh, Terry Ellis, and he's stalking her, trying to be on, on a live feed, and she's on a live feed, stalking her. He's stalking Sister Noble. And now, all the things now, and you know, the funny thing about this man said that he's for black love. But if you're for black love, why would you still try to cause conflict between me and Sister Noble, knowing that me and Sister Noble, we, we cool now, we made up. And now you, now you mad at that? So I want to say give a shout out to Sister Noble. You mad? You mad that me and Sister Noble made up? You should be happy for that. You should be happy to see the black man, black woman united. And you upset with that? And now you taking everything that I used to say to this to the sister, all the mean things that I used to say to the sister. Now you're saying it. You're saying the same thing. You talking about now you bashing her book. Now you now you being insistent of what she went through as a, as when she was five. You saying all these things because that's how you really felt deep down. You never loved her. God damn it. And you sitting there crying. Oh, you kiss me. You you let me rub your feet. Oh, take me back. Take me back. Now are you 
you say you drove miles to see her, but at the same time you talk about, oh, she didn't have nothing. She was broke. But wait a minute. You was you didn't have anything either when you met your wife, your ex-wife. Didn't you say Uncle Ruckus? Didn't you say that you was in bad shape? And you didn't want you 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 didn't want to be in the street with Jack Frost? Didn't you say that? Didn't you say that, Uncle Ruckus? That you did not. You was in bad shape. You didn't have anything. And now you, you got the nerve to talk about Sister Noble. For as I can Sister Noble already paid her debts with you. She paid her debts with you. Like she's like you said, she kissed you on the cheek. She let you rub her feet. Oh, you thought you was going to get the cookie. That's why you was paying all this money and all this other stuff. You know, Sister Noble, she's a decent woman. She's very, she's decent. And you crying, oh, you kissed me. We held hands. You didn't care nothing about her. You cannot say that you cared about Sister Noble. How you had that sister uh, just shouting and using all type, and, and she was angry, always angry in your in in, in your live videos. Every time y'all did it live, you had you 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 used her to get back at your enemies. You said I was your enemy. I didn't do nothing to you. Now I'm the enemy now. So you use so you use the woman to do a man's job. And she's and she's sweating and, and her and you can see her blood pressure going up. And she even said. My blood pressure is going up and you sitting up there and you're smiling and you thought it was funny. Did you know that she could have caught a stroke? Uncle Ruckus on, on live there. What would you, what would you, what, what have you would have done if she would have caught a stroke or a heart attack? On, on live air. You would have still thought, thought it was funny. It's obvious you're not, you're not, you don't know anything about what's going on. Do you know Uncle Ruckus, the leading cause of strokes and heart attacks is African women in the United States? Since we follow a color code, I would say black women. Oh, you didn't know that, huh? You didn't know that, huh? Oh, you didn't know that, huh? African women have almost two times the risk of stroke than Caucasians and more likely to die at the early age when compared to women of other ethnicities. Did you know? Did you know that? Sister No could have caught a stroke trying to defend you. That's why when she was on my show, I said, calm down. Woosa, you know what I'm saying? You know, just calm down. Calm down. Don't, I don't want you to get, because I know how she gets. I don't even like to see, I don't even like to see my women like that. I mean, every show, every time she got on your show, she's, she's looked like she's, she's not, that's, that's not her. That's, that wasn't her. 
And she said, look, my blood pressure is going up and you're smiling. You thought it was funny. She could have caught a stroke on your show because she's trying to, she's trying to make you happy. And see, this is a, this is a, a pure example of a psychopath. This is a pure example of a psychopath. This is obsession. Shout out to Sister Noble, what's good? What's good, Sister Noble? Cuckoo Cutter, what's good? Hotel. Aliyah Muhammad, what's good? What's good, what's good? Shout out to Brother Bakari, what's good, what's good? Thanks for tuning in. I don't know if they, Kuka, I don't know these people are real. They could be gov. They could be agents. Cause this, they the only two that come on his show supporting his nonsense. So I don't know. They look like the same people. They look like the same people. Yeah, I don't think they're real people either. I think, I think, I think they're, I think they're working. For, I think that's government right there, because I notice this, this anti-African, this anti-African stuff. They, they never wanted black people to unite with black people from home. And this is something. This is nothing new. This is something since Carter was in office. Jimmy Carter. This is nothing new. So I think a lot of these people are just government agents that's just trying to, they don't want black people to unite. They don't. They don't. They would do anything and everything to just try to dis, dis, destroy what's what, you know, because people, people, people want to. We we see a a a a um people trying to build, people trying to unite, people trying to you know work together. They they tired of depending on other races of people to do stuff for them. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't I don't think they're real either. I don't think they're real. But I'm glad y'all tuning in. Because I, I gotta go in. I got I gotta do it. I, you know, I gotta do it. And I, and 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 there's so much I need to talk about because I've been away for a while. I've been away for a while. I had to get away from a couple of things and we group. I just came back from Jamaica to break bread of my people over there. And Jamaica is a beautiful place, by the way. So I want to. This is a, a pure example of a psychopath. A psychopath. And this, when, and I notice this whole thing reminds me of that movie, What Love Got to Do With It. I don't know if anybody saw that movie, What Love Got to Do With It, with Angela Bassett and, um, uh, what's his name? Um, Larry Fishburne. He played Ike, Ike and, you know, the whole Ike and Tina story. And, Remember when Ike, when when this when Tina she 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 just had enough. This reminded me of Sister Noble. She had enough. She said, "Look, I, I had enough. 
I'm tired of your bullshit. It's not working out. So she moved on. T Tina Turner, she moved on. Ike comes back. He comes back with flowers, da-da-da. Yeah, I want you back. I love you, da-da-da. And Tina was like, that love is gone. When I loved you, you slapped me. You put cake in my face. There's real images of you see Tina Turner with a black eye and she tried, I don't, I don't even know how did she performed going through all that. I don't know how that she performed going through that. And but you can still see the black eye in those pictures, those pictures that uh where her real name was Anna May. Um but you can still see the sort of see the black the black eye. I remember I saw the documentary of uh, uh, I think the documentary called Tina or Turner or something like that. And they showed all those old photos how she had to perform with the black guy. That's I don't know. I don't know how I, you got to be a strong woman to go through that. But when when Tina Turner said, "Look, I had enough," and you know what she said, she walked away with nothing. They went they went to court. She said, "Only thing I want, I don't want your money. I don't want nothing. Only thing I want is the name." She got the name. And she left the States and she, I guess she went to, 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 to Europe somewhere. So I comes back, he comes back with the flowers or whatever. So when he, she said, no, I had enough. When I loved you, you abused me. And then you know what he did? He took out a gun. He took out a gun and he just put it on the table like, like in other words, trying to intimidate her like, you ain't walking away from me like that. You know what Tina Turner did? She got up, she raised her head high. She said, if you're going to shoot me, do it, but I'm not going coming back to you. I'm not coming back. That's it. So when I when I see Sister No, she already paid her debts. She got she she got the bro, she got this moron almost on Sarnetta show. But like a typical fuck up, he messed it up by talking against Nepal, and he know he knew that Sister Noble was at the time she was cool with Nepal and Sarnetta. Sister Noble was on her way to become like one of like one of the one of the uh, I guess I'll say a, a YouTube celebrity, right? Because people liked her. Hell, I list, I was listening to her. You know what I'm saying? But he messed her up because he was hating. And now he was on Moore's World TV. So he had an opportunity. But instead, he didn't talk about his campaign because he's always he was always mad to him about these these big these big platforms don't let me come and let me talk about my idea. But when you had an opportunity, you fucked it up. You was on Moore's World TV. You didn't talk about your idea. You know what you did? You know what you did, Uncle Ruckus? You talked about Louis Farrakhan and bad mouth Louis Farrakhan. Louis Farrakhan already got hit. He already got money in the bank. But you sitting there, you talking about him instead of talking about your idea. Of course. Of course. He was jealous. And now he's bringing these, these receipts. We don't know what those receipts 
for. We don't know. We we don't know those receipts was by him. Hundred dollars, thousand. We don't know what those receipts was by him. That could that that and he he didn't. He's not showing anything. Sister Noble and Aaliyah, y'all was the ones that showed all these evidence. Y'all proved it. Case closed. The evidence is there. And he's making videos after videos of it, trying to prove that, uh, uh, or trying to debunk that. You can't debunk that. Because if you could debunk it, you would have debunked it in one video. Now, this is a proof example of a psychopath. Who does this? You got this man got too much time on his hands to do stupid shit like this. And he's supposed to be woke. He's supposed to be conscious. And then he's gonna turn around. See, and another thing I don't understand, he get mad at other people that's called themselves gods and goddesses. But now he calling himself a god. No, dude, you can't do that. You Muslim. If you are any type of religious organization, you cannot call yourself a god. That came from, that's the whole god concept come from Africa. That's the whole god comes from. And I'm a, a matter of fact, I'm going to play you what Barry White said. He said, no, I think, I think, I think I'm a God because we can create life and we can destroy life. But if you in a religious, if you in, if you in Christianity or whatever, you can't do that. The Bible says that you can't serve two masters. You can't serve no other God. So, sir, your God is Allah. So you cannot call yourself a god. But now he's repeating everything that he claims he don't like. Oh, I'm a god. Then he said, sister, I'm your god because I paid for this and I paid for that. You was in a relationship. You was in a relationship. You That, that shit don't count. Shit, I, girls that I've dated, I paid, didn't think nothing of it. But then you want to call, you want to say, then he's going to say, that, oh, she was broke. And da, 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 but dude, you was broke when you didn't have nothing. And then he's going to think, then he try to call somebody out their weight. Oh, Aaliyah Mahan, she's fat and all this other stuff. I'm like, dude, and I'm looking at this dude. Dude, have you looked in the so have you looked in the mirror lately? Do you honestly do people honestly think he's attractive? The dude, you you don't look like a Denzel Washington, you don't look like a Morris Chestnut. Are you serious, dude? But you want to talk bad about women, but you supposed to say you love soul sisters. You are, uh, I, it's, look, damn dude, like, you hurt. We know you hurt. You hurt, but you abuse, but you abuse a good woman. Instead of using it for some sort of positivity to create some movement going, you used it to get back at people that you don't like. That's wrong. And when people just say had enough, because because it's 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 messing up their health, you upset. You upset. You mad. Hold up, Sister Raw. But you upset, you mad. So I'm going to play you. Not going to be a long video, but I'm going to play you 
how he how he's he 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 talks about you could and you could tell the way he talks that he loved Aaliyah Muhammad. I'm gonna play you that. And you could tell that he loved Aaliyah Muhammad. He spoke highly of his wife, of his, his, his ex-wife at the time. So let me let me let me uh play you this real quick. Uh let me see if y'all can hear it. Uh, let me see. So I'm gonna play you what he says, and you can hear him. This was a two, this is a 2013 video. And I'm just gonna play you what he said, but you could tell he 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 was in a happy marriage. You could tell he was a happy marriage. I but when I would come later on, because I was persistent. See, I was persistent. They began to realize that this young man cares about his people and care about us. So you can slam the door in my face. You can talk about me and talk about my bald head or talk about me in any kind of manner that you want to. But when it's all said and done, I love us. I love us. And my wife loves us. We could be doing many other things. Now you hear that, right? He said, my wife. Now, before he said, oh, I was never married. I was never married. Who's the real flip-flopper? Mr. Flip-flopper? Who's the real flip-flopper? First, you said you wasn't married. And then you were saying, well, we was married, but we were supposed to, we signed up, we were supposed to be in a sexless marriage. There's no such thing of a sexless marriage. You're supposed to have sex when you're married. And you look like a freak. You look like a freak. And I and I really think, in my opinion, Mr. Uncle Ruckus, I believe that you go both ways. Because you've been in prison for 10 years. What have you been doing for 10 years? In, in a bunch of around a bunch of dudes. Cause they, I know they couldn't put you among other with women. You had to been among other men. He was happy. He spoke highly of you. Let me, let me, let me, let me play a little bit more. Hold on. We could just be living our slave life, cause that's all we got here is a slave life. But see, I'm not comfortable in this slave life. And my wife won't let me or allow me, and I will not allow her to become comfortable in this life. See? Say his wife. But before he said, I was never married. I was never married to that woman. So you lie. You're a flip-flopper. But you want to call, you got the nerve to call Sister Noble a flip-flopper? You're a flip-flopper. Let me play you something else. And I want Sister Noble to hear this. I want Sister Noble to hear this. This is when he was talking to the 17-year-old boy, trying to recruit him. Let me see. Um, let me go back here. Uh, let me see. That's the, 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 the. that's what three twenty. Okay. Da, da, this way. Why go through? Tell the truth. You know, like Judge Judy always said on her show, mm. if you tell the truth, you have to worry about all that. But when you tell a lie, like right. Sister Noble, 
when she first started talking, she was talking like she's Miss Independent or whatever. Then I start putting them receipts. All the duckets I was giving her, oh, well, uh, it's a whole different ball game. Lady, I took care of you for almost two years. I don't think you took, you did not take care of that woman for no two years. Sister Noble worked and she paid her bills. Unless you told her, hey, I take care of you. You don't have to work. I will pay your bills. I'll pay your, your car note. You All you think I got to do is just sit back and chill. That's a lie. You did not take care of her. You might, you might have bought her things here and there. But you was in a relationship at the time. Now, I don't know if you was continue buying her things after she broke up with your ass. But when you was in a relationship, yeah, you had to, you had to, you know, do your part as a man. But let me finish, let me, let me, let me finish what he says, because this is what the insensitive part I don't understand. And you say you love this woman. You say you loved her. I took care of you for almost two years. And that's just a little receipt. I can show you a whole lot of more receipts. I was taking care of you. But at the same time, you're supposed to be my woman. I'm supposed to take care of my woman. But unfortunately, you, you don't want a real, you don't want a man in your life. You want to sit there and cry and talk about going back to the to the to the law firm and 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 and, 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 and bus station and you want to talk about you want to, just, you want to talk about a dingling in your in your mouth at five years old you just want to drown you heard that insensitive insensitive you, he always felt that way. Because if you love somebody, you're not going to bring that up. Because you mad, because you upset. Could have say, hey, me and Sister Noble, it didn't work out. I wish her the best. Hopefully we decide. To... That's, that's what I'm talking about. But you're going to make all these videos talking about when she got molested. And, and this is not the first one. He made other videos saying the same thing. I mean, just making just making fun of, of that of her, her situation, just heartless. Very heartless. And it goes into my topic, escapism, because Instead of focusing on the, our struggle and our purpose, he's, he's, he's attacking black people. He's attacking his own people. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Well, he, I tell you one thing. He he probably do got some money because the man is cheap. He don't pay. He don't. He don't got nothing up to date in his, his place. He don't got nothing up to date in his place. He has no responsibilities. I I told him. I said since you have a a, a skill of driving trucks, why don't you teach people or use your platform to t of of the truck trucking? Teaching people out of the trucking business. You can start a trucking school. He didn't want that. He don't he any any idea come from me. I said, sure, I'll be your first student. I'm willing to pay for some lessons. But he's all about dissing his own people. And then, then, then this white guy, he comes on, the white guy come on there, I'm going to play that part. And he praised this white man. Let me see if I can find that one. 
He praised this white man who came on here, on his channel, on his platform. Let me see if I can find that. Uh, if it's somewhere around, I think it's this one. Sometimes you gotta hear the truth from the from the best source you can hear it from. In my opinion, I think Angel snubbed up seven. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much, brother. Thank you for being on this. Eighteen years yes, old. It's yes, yes, amazing. amazing. I want to send a shout out to my oh, to yeah. my friend Smoke Daddy, and he's he's a white man <laughs> that's been listening to me since two thousand and nine. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Since 2009. He said, Angel Snub Nub 7 for president. Since 2009. That's what's up, And I would, be stupid. I would be stupid not to say that's my friend. That's my friend to him with that black conscious garden. That's mm. my buddy, Smoke Dad. He's not a devil. <laughs> he's not evil. He's not, he's not <laughs> snake. He got my back more than any of you suckers ever done. Mm -hmm. He ain't never called me nigga. He ain't never right. tried to smear my name. He ain't never done none of those kind of things to me. Always been there since 2009. Maybe longer than that. That's my friend Smoke Daddy. So shout out to Smoke Daddy. My brother from another mother. <laughs> Shouts out to I Smoke Daddy. <laughs> See, that's going to have to He's talking about the white man again. You're damn stupid. <laughs> it's about the content of character. You niggas don't have no character. Now, you heard what he said? He gave this white man so much praise, but he called his own people the N-word. Then you cannot complain about white people, ever. I don't care what I don't care what they did to you and got you locked up. You supposed to have gotten locked up. You committed a crime, sir. And let me say this. Him and that B1, I'm going to get to the B1 bozo, the bozo 1 in a minute in 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 Mississippi. I'm going to get to his ass in a minute too. He, he don't like the Black Panther movie. And he always said, oh, you're black people. You black people always living like you in Wakanda. Well, your ain't you said that the Mississippi was supposed to be a safe haven for black people? Didn't you say that? Didn't in the movie Wakanda was supposed to be a safe haven according to the comic book? For children, let me repeat that again, because sometimes they look at Black Panther as some revolutionary. It's a comic book for children. So, so Wakanda was supposed to have been a safe haven for the Wakandians. So this is what you're trying to do now? You're trying to create a safe haven for Black people in Mississippi? And then you want to know why I said it was a pipe dream? Everybody keeps saying the same thing I said. It's a fucking pipe dream. Even Karen said that. And you got mad at her. Well, if you always felt that way, you know, you are a deceiver. No, that's how she felt. She said it won't work. I said it won't work. Alquan said, well, you told my intelligent people said it won't work, but you keep pushing that garbage. For two or three years, you kept saying that. Now you're going to create a Wakanda in Mississippi. It won't work. It's a pipe dream. And now you got that B1 Bozo 1. You got him going out there looking like an idiot. And even he, before his channel got terminated, where well, it supposedly got terminated, because anytime when you talk bad about your people, your channel should get terminated. And I'm glad his channel got terminated. 
But one of his videos, before his channel got terminated, another channel that got terminated, which is which is good. He's sitting up there on the road in a white neighborhood in, in, in Cold Waters, Mississippi, remind you, because if you claim that you don't like these people, why would you want to live among, a, among the enemy? Why would you want to live them? Why would you want to live with them? But you hit one of his videos, he said, I need help. I don't know what to do. I'm in Mississippi and I don't know what to do. This is what he said. But you don't go to the man who got who, who came up with the plan, who came up with the with the idea. You don't want to go to him. Because he's not helping, because he don't, he just making up stuff. And I know B, I know Bozo One. I know he's broke. He's in debt. And because he didn't sell that last house that he got, it's not going to sell. The same dude that slept with the white girl, had an affair with the white girl. But he wants to make it seem like he's this big time revolutionary. But he got to walk around his place with a stick in his hand. Talking about, oh, oh, those dumb, 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 dumb dogs, dumb dogs. Well, I can't shout him out. Maybe you could shout him out. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't fuck with Maurice like that. That dude is that dude is a clown. This is the same dude that made friends with that 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 psychopath after that psychopath called his wife a whore. He called that psychopath called his wife a whore. So wait a minute. You're gonna make friends with somebody? You wanna care about somebody? You wanna go out your way to care about somebody who called your wife a whore? But you said that you're a protector of black women. No, fuck Maurice. Fuck him. And I'm telling you, I'll tell anybody, anybody that fuck with these people, I'm telling you, you're going to live, you're going to live, you're going to be, a, they're going to put you in a situation that you're not going to get out. He's a preacher. He said that he's a teacher. He, a teacher show how to solve problems. I want to, I want to, I want to get this. I want to let people know what a teacher is. Cause a lot of people could keep saying they're a teacher and, and they're not a teacher. A teacher means somebody can show you how to solve problems. He is in Mississippi and he don't know how to solve the fucking problem. He's a preacher. He's a preacher. Exactly. He went out his way. This is the reason why the psychopath is mad at me. This is the reason why that pedophile, that old pedophile is mad at me. Oh, well, you never checked your boom in the hospital? No. You're not going to talk shit about me and talk bad about me. Then when something happens to you, I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to worry about you? No, they don't, life doesn't work that way. Not with me. But you call, you, he, 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 he disrespect brother with Kari, uh, uh, grandbabies. And I defended this, this, this coward. I defended this B1 cat. I don't even like saying this dude's name. Mr. B1, Bozo1. And he gonna go and worry about another man who called, called his wife a whore. All of a sudden, he's forgiven. 
and then you turned on me and I and I defended you. This is the second time now. I don't give third chances. You cross me twice, that's it. That's it. There's no making friends. There's no more, you know, buddy, buddy. No, you ghost. You get out of here. You're a clown. These people have no morals. These people, and then his whole, and the book, and the B1, his whole thing is of separation. His whole thing is you live in a house, white people be on one side, and black people be on the other side in one big house. To me, that's not separation. They weren't about a state. They weren't about control. What about having our own country? And I'd rather live in an all black country ruling and controlling, having our own military. You know, I'd rather live there than living around people that that don't that hate my guts. That they, they know I'm a natural enemy. But we sit there, we talk about unity, we talk about black love and black unity, but the black people don't want, they don't want that. And this is the reason why I named my talk at escapism, because there's a lot of escapism. Or, I don't, or they don't like white people, but you want to create a safe haven for black people, but at the same time, you're you living among white folks. And you heard this psychopath get bigging up this 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 this, this white dude. He said, "Oh fuck your black conscience and all this other stuff." But you trying to create a safe haven for black people? Got you. I got you. It's 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 sad. Now he would spend hours, three or four hours, bashing a female. Bashing people who's not thinking about him. But then you want to know why you ain't growing? You, you want to know why you're not prog progressing? And just like I told him, I said, yo, I thought me and you was on the same team. Then you, then you, then you attacking Marcus Messiah Garvey. Mark, he's not here to defend himself. Marcus Messiah Garvey is not here to defend himself. So I don't understand why you're attacking him. I'm just saying that his his teachings is more logical. He's the foundation of everything. Marcus Garvey is saying, no, we need a country, not a state, not a town, not a city. We need a government that even if we live in these parts anywhere in the world, we have a country that back us up. Just like you have a Chinatown in every part of the states, but they know China would back them up. But nobody's not talking about countries. But you want to live in the same house with your enemy and then complain? It doesn't, that's not going to work. And just because I said it don't do nothing for me, you're going to get mad. You're going to get angry. Here come the dissing. So I don't get what these I don't get what these clowns. Escapism. That's all it is. Escapism. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to get after the real problem. Uh, yeah, Malcolm X did a, a wonderful speech about Marcus Garvey. Because this, because Malcolm X's father was a Garvey knight. Even Marcus, even Malcolm X's daughter said that. 
uh, uh, Malcolm X was a Garvey Knight. And if Malcolm X would have still been here, he would have still been a Garvey Knight. He talked great about Africa. So I want to just say this. I think I played that already. I think I played enough for that. But he's just very insensitive, very, very insensitive bastard. Very insensitive bastard. But like I say, he never, he never loved her. That dude never loved Sister Noble. He never loved her. She paid her debts already. She paid her debts. She moved on. She's much, she's much happier now. She's much happier now. Get over it. Do your, do your Mississippi complaint campaign. I would say do your Mississippi complaint campaign or your Mississippi initiative and all this other stuff. Cause like I said, none of them don't, they don't like each other anyway. And you had to be run. Oh yeah. You know, uh, you know, and not once he never came The B one dude never came to sister Noble defense, but he came, but these people that say they love black women, I'm confused. I'm confused. So, I wanted to address something else. So I think I'm done talking about this, talking about this cat. And like I said, again, the guy is, a, is the real cyber stalker. He's the real stalker. He's a pedophile. And then, oh yeah, one more thing too before I move before I continue, because I want to get into, I want to get into the brother polite situation. He said. He said something about. Oh shit! What the hell? Give me one second. Who was that hitting me up? Okay. All right. Um, then I lost the train of thought. He said something about um, what did he say? He said um, ah shoot. He said something about um, I lost the train of I lost the train of thought right now. But it'll get back to me. It'll get back to me. Um, I want to talk about this brother polite situation. And it was a big thing about brother polite with this. Um, how he slept with a 14 year old girl, whatever this and that. Let me tell you for me, I don't give a fuck about brother polite. I think I don't give me wrong. He's a smart brother, but I don't give a fuck about him. He's another hypocrite. He's another hypocrite. He's another hypocrite. This is the same man who said the black woman is God. So if your black woman is God, brother polite. If the black woman is God, brother polite. So why is this woman who's a white girl? She's not mixed. She's white. Rather, she could pass for Latino, whatever she is. But you said a black woman is God, but your this is your fifth wife. This is your fifth wife. So, 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 so they say. 
And these all these so-called wilds, they're not really wild. They they just they he's really a pimp. That's that's a pimp thing. I like you, so I want you to be my wife. So let me talk talk you into this polygamy stuff. And my thing is this, these women, none of these women has nothing to offer. And 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 one thing I know is about brother, one thing I know is about polite, he's very superficial. The woman that he has to, he has to get, she has to be a, 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 a almost like a model. Now there's some beautiful voluptuous women, voluptuous sisters who keep themselves very sexy, but he don't want to take pictures with them because that may ruin his image. That might ruin his image. So, So I noticed that when 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 these con when these unconscious cats when they get a little money, all of a sudden, oh fuck the struggle. I'm gonna hang out with the enemy. So their women start getting lighter and lighter and lighter, cause they has to, you know. Now they got money now, and they want to be like they want to be like the enemy now and say, hey, look, I'm one of y'all. I'm just like you. Now he's in, but he was in, he's in Beverly Hills, going to the white restaurants, in the nicest white hotels. You don't think Ghana don't have beautiful hotels? They do. You don't think none of these African countries got beautiful hotels? But see, he got he's another one got caught up into this this escapism because he because it's a, because the struggle's too real. And he's supposed to be so-called strong black men. Strong black men. A lot of hypocrisy. And I'm not going to get into the whole that he slept with the 14 year old girl. Now, I don't care. I don't. When the courts, when the evidence are coming out, let's wait until the evidence in the court, because he got to go to court. Let's wait until the evidence come out and let's deal with it from there. But all this, oh, he did it and this and that. And no one got any proof. They, it's all speculations. It's all speculations. I don't do. I don't do no speculations. I don't do no belief systems. I don't do that. Show me the evidence. I'm not pitting past him. I'm not pitting nothing past him. He probably did do it. So I let the courts decide. And once the courts decide if he did it. Then we could condemn that. We, we could we can condemn him. But I don't give a fuck about him. I don't care. He get locked up. Well, when you say who's they, who's they? Say I I have to I have to wait. Till all the evidence come out. But he put himself in that situation. The point I'm trying to make is that whatever situation he goes with, he put himself in it. I don't, I don't even like, I don't, that's why I don't talk about stupid shit like that. He put himself in that situation. See, this is all this would, see, all this is a, it's a fucking distraction for my real goals and our purpose. So they say so so they 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 push stupid shit like this and this to distract us from all that and then we could talk about this dude.
So if they got DNA, then he's going to jail. He need to be locked up, plain and simple. So if they got DNA, he deserve to be locked up, period. That's it. Case closed. Case closed. 14, 14 that's, that's a baby. That's a child. That's a child, man. So if they got DNA on him, that DNA on, on, that, on that girl, he need to be locked up, period. I don't deal with pedophiles. And Sister Noble knows, I, I, I've been, look, you could talk talk to Brother Craig. Peace shout out to African Supremacy. AKA, we, we talked about these things. That, that pedophilia, all that come from ancient Rome and Greece. Let me say this again. This pedophilia come from ancient Rome and Greece. A lot of black folks are adopting that lifestyle, that ancient Rome and Greece. When the what? Because they because and remind you that that was out of religion. Because they think in order to be closer to Zeus, you have to be pure. You can't sleep with no woman. You can't mess with no woman. So that's all they do is mess with little boys, young boys. Even in medieval times, they was doing that. Ain't nothing changing Europe. Ain't nothing changing Europe. Messing with animals and all that, there's nothing change. And you got black people want to follow behind that because they think their, their, their lifestyle is good. Anything is black is bad. So again, I don't give a fuck about no brother polite. He put himself in that situation. And again, I want to make this per perfectly clear. If they, if 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 he if he if he's, I don't know if you, you call it statutory rape, but if he messed with that girl, where his DNA got on, he need to be locked up. Period. But see. And, and 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 I noticed too, and I did a video on this about the GMS, and I think Brother Bakari is on my show. He was on my panel, and CJ was on my panel, where they, you had the GMS. I don't know if Sister Noble seen it, but you had the GMS, the Israelites. They encouraged that. They encouraged pedophilia. Because Sarnetta asked one of them, what happened if... If one of your brothers slept with your 12-year-old daughter, well, you know, uh, we would just sit there and we talk about it. And, uh, you know, according to the Bible, it's, it's okay. According to the scriptures, it's okay to sleep with a 12-year-old girl. This is what they said. It's, 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 it's some, it's, this is what they said. This is coming from the Bible and the Quran. And they're using this to do this type of thing. Brother Polite, he's trying to be like his teacher, uh, uh, Dr. York or whatever his name is. So we, we already know what all this is coming from. And, and I want to say this be, before I go. Let me say this. Be, let me say this. Let me say this real quick. Uh, that that Talib dude, that speech, this, the speech impediment Negro, he used to be part of that too. I don't know if Sister Noble knows that, but he used to be part of that 
uh, that York dude. He was part of that Nawapian shit. Oh, he was part of that too. I won't be surprised. He's a pedophile. Man can't even this that that Talib, that speech impediment bastard can't even read. Has no education, but you want to talk bad about me. Wait, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm going to get my, uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to get my GED. Uh, uh, motherfucker, you're a grown ass man. You should have been got your education. Fucking losers. But they want to get on social media and, and sound intelligent. This should be against the law for certain people to even speak. You got to show credentials. All these uneducated people. And then you got these people that use that. that see, brother, let me tell you something about brother. Brother Polite, he's also an ex-con too. He's he been in prison too. I don't know if y'all know that. This man used to be a gang member, a crip. Sinatra, all these guys. Or, or ex cons. I'm not an ex con. I don't have a police record. And it's going to stay like that. You ain't going to find no dirt on me. Okay? But these people, they, they, they're criminals. Yeah, one of them, that old, the old one, he said, yeah, we're going to take them young. We're going to take them young. We're going to bag them and get them pregnant. What the? Hey, I said, yo, this is sick. These are creepy old dudes. And see, they're allowed to say this in public. They're allowed to say this to public because what some Bible has said. I don't, I don't understand this. And they, and they get away with this. They get away with talking nonsense. We got to start checking our people. And I'm, I hate to say this. Sometimes we're going to have to start checking our people. We're going to have to start doing that. Yeah. I don't I don't I don't deal with that. That's that's not like I said, that's not African to me. That's not African. All that all that comes from religion. Even when you go to go to these Arab countries, you got them Arabs sleeping with little boys. I mean, it's sickening. Yeah. Now you know. Now you know, sister. So I don't I don't do I don't do things like that. I don't I don't I'm very I'm look. I'm a type of person, I have a right to defend myself just like anybody else. But at certain things I don't cross I don't cross no lines. I don't try to I don't I don't go up my way and sister noble no I did not call no Amazon I don't know if I don't know if that nut told you that but I did not call your publisher I did not do that I did not do that so I just want to make that clear I did not call no no Amazon no publisher and you won't you could if you could show, if you could show it to if you if you show it to me prove let me know Cause I did not, I did not do, I didn't do none of that. 
But this is probably okay. I got you. I got you. I won't say his name. But I won't. I, I don't do stuff like that. I never. I never do. I, uh, I, I might have said some things, but that's one thing. I never. I never go out there to hurt people like that. But he 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 said that he's about black love, and you know, just to let you know, Sister Noble, he does he does follow us. He said this. He said I didn't unsubscribe Sister Noble, and I didn't unsubscribe God Nollywood. I do check out their videos, but I'm not subscribed to you, Uncle Ruckus. I'm not subscribed to you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the toothless speech impediment dude was in the, the Wapian Nation. If that's who you're talking about, yeah. Because he was also, uh, I guess he had some thoughts about the whole polite situation. But yeah, he was part of that. An ex-con, toothless ex-con, speech impediment, loser. But you want to talk about me. You want to you come at me. You know, you don't know me like that. So I'm from a different cloth. My parents brought me up right. I'm not saying that I'm perfect, but at least I try to go for some sort of perfection. I want to be perfect. Now, I tell people like this. You can whatever you whatever you into, that's fine. If it makes you a good person, that's all that matters to me. All I ask people: do not lose yourself of where you come from. That's what my stance on that. You can be whatever you want to be. You want to be a Christian, fine. You want to be a Muslim, fine. But don't lose yourself. When Malcolm X said. He said this. He said, we are not Americans. He said, we're African people. We're not American. Now, he's an ancestor, and he's saying this. And he's not the only one. Marcus Garvey said it. Before him, you have other people said it before him. So if you got all these ancestors saying that we come from a continent, I'm going to listen to my ancestors. I'm not going to listen to somebody who was born yesterday. Talking about we are, we are brand new people. When I was on, shout out to uh, Brother Bacar. When me and Brother Bacar, we was on Alquan show. Shout out to Alquan. I just don't like Alquan. I don't like his goons. Very disrespectful people. But these people are supposed to be, and again, I want to say this perfectly, shout out to Alquan, because Alquan was the only one that was, to me, was respectful. But his, but that Tyrone and all those other cats, very disrespectful. And the title, the topic was "Later for Africa 4, I think it was. So of course I want to be on the show. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna be on the show. You know, have some fun and bring. But I'm gonna bring some scholarship. Me and brother, so brother Carter came over because they, because <laughs> when one of the sisters, some sister said, yeah, hey, they jump with your, they jump with your brother. You better go in there. So he came, he came on there, you know what I'm saying? So, and we try to bring some scholarship. And every time they would ask us a question, we were about to answer it, they would cut us off. And sometimes I said, whoa, brother, whoa. Um, I, I, I haven't finished. I want to explain because you asked me a question. And I remember, like, I'll give you a perfect because Alcorn said, well, you said that you're African, but you don't, when I look at these pictures, you don't look like an Africa. I said, well, Alcorn, you got to understand. You don't believe in DNA. You don't believe in science. And that's fine. The white man did not come up with no DNA. The DNA is already inside of us. And shout out to Brother Bakari because he, 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 he told, he said that. 
See, I give people credit when credit's due. So he, you know, like I said, I learned, a, me and Brother Bacall, we learn from each other. We bounce, we bounce information. And I'm like, damn, that's, a, that's interesting. Yeah, you're right about that. We are DNA. DNA is in us. So no, how can a white man invent DNA when DNA is already in us? We have a genetic marker. We have a genetic marker to tell you exactly where you're from and who you are. So the white man did not create that. So I was telling, I was telling uh, Brother Alcorn, I said, well, Alcorn, you got to understand that over time, over years, when we are out of our natural, our natural uh, environment, over time, the offspring, if we in a, a colder, cooler climate, over years, the offspring gets lighter and lighter and lighter. And that that's include the diet tree and all that stuff, all that science. You learn that in science, when you take science classes. Most of us, I don't have white people in my family. I don't have native blood in my family. I took my DNA test. But I, I didn't have to take it. I only took it because I wanted to show people that I'm not lying. My parents said, no, no, we come from Africa. We African people. See, what you what see, what happened was you got a lot of people that are not science people or don't believe in scholarship. So what happened, they replace it with pseudoscience. They replace it, oh shoot, information man, what's good? What's good, King? What's good? And information man, he would tell you. And, and by the way, if anybody wants to come on and share their information, let me know and I'll put the link in. Just let me know. I'll put the link in. Just put the one. Say, I want to come on. I'll let y'all come on and share your thoughts. Sister Noble, you want to come on? You can. Information man, you definitely down. You know what I'm saying? We got to chop it up. We got to do another uh, 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 program, brother. Everybody everybody was talking about, hey, you information man. Y'all got to get back together. Yo, I'm down. I'm down. But a lot of people don't believe in scholarship. They hate scholarship. So they replace it with pseudoism. Oh, what well, well, you know, uh, you know, when I was on Alcorn show, he said one of the one of them goons said, Oh, Brother Bakari left because one of the assholes got on there and called Brother Bakari the N-word. Brother Bakari said, Hey man, don't call me that. Don't you ever in your mouth call me. Well, you said the word black, and that's offensive. I said, so I said, let me tell you something. I said, in this country, we follow a color code. In the United States in a, of America, not Canada of America, not Mexico of America, United States of America follow a color code. Whether you like it or not. They don't give a shit if you're more or, or Muslim, they're not going to describe you like that. It is, they, they follow descriptions. So this is the reason why when the police, they call them what? The boys in blue. When Barack Obama signed the bill to protect police officers, those who have voted for him, it, it was called the blue alert bill. When they come looking for you, they describe on your complexion, on your race. Black male. We looking for a black male, five foot three, or whatever, six foot, black female, white female. That's how they describe you. They're not going to say, oh, you're a Muslim female. No, they're not, they're not doing all that. So I was saying, since they follow a color code,
since they follow a color code, how come we just can't use that to our advantage? And Sister Noble knows this. And I know she's very aware of it because I, I believe she said this too. When white people got came together, white people didn't like each other. Marcus Garvey said this too. He said white people know when they when it comes down to a natural, they, they'll fight among each other. But when it comes down of their natural enemy, all of a sudden they'll put their differences aside and they'll come together. Right? I mean, I know Aliyah Muhammad knows this. I know Information Man knows this, know this. When they when we start our people start integrating their schools, what did white people do? Right? The Irish, the Italians, they stop fighting. The Polish, they stop fighting. Oh no, we got to come together as a white race to go after the black race. Those are black people. We got to go after them. So I was saying, so how come we can't? Right, Muslim is not a nationality, right. It's not a nationality. So I was saying that how come we can't use the black as, as a tool to unite. When Uncle Ruckus, he always said, well, I'm a soul. I'm a soul. I don't know what that is. James Brown. So, no, James Brown said, he came out with a song called, I'm Black and I'm Proud. Say it loud, Black and I'm Proud. He didn't say I'm soul and proud. Did anybody heard Jane Brown say, um, say it loud. I'm soul and proud. So, what? James Brown didn't say that. He said, say it loud. I'm black and I'm proud. We all the black, we all a black race. So how come we can't come together and use that to our advantage? Use the use the crap and use use the crap that they give us and use it as a tool to use it against them. That's the really reason why they say black cats are bad. But according to According to comedic science, black cats means fortune. It means good luck. That's the reason why I got a black cat. <laughs> I got a black cat. But, but to the Europeans, oh, black cat means bad. It means evil. Well, that means it means it, it brings evil to them. It'll curse them, but it won't curse us. <laughs> Black cats will curse them. <laughs> I saw a movie like that. What was it? Um, oh, what was that movie called? I think it was. Um, damn, what was that movie? Uh, Tales of the Dark Side, the movie. Who remember that movie? Tales of the Dark Side, the movie, when the black cat start <laughs> harassing that old white man. <laughs> Because he would use cats, because cats would give nine lives. So he would kill the cats and turn it, turn these cats to like pills so he could keep living. So the it was a so I don't know what this black cat came out of nowhere, and the black cat job was to to kill this old white man. Not a white cat, not a brown cat, it was a black cat that did that. I thought that was interesting. Yeah, back in the day. Back in the day. Let me just read some of your comments here. Uh, let me see. Sister. 
Yeah, you're right. Sister Noble, you got you got a point there. Seeing those who are willfully ignorant seems to cry against, yeah, you're right. You're so true. Yep. Facts, facts. Yep. I remember, yeah, see? You remember that one, right? With the black cat, <laughs> with the old man in the chair? Because he would kill the cats for the, he would pop them, he would, he would kill the cats for their, for their, for their lives. For the, because cats give, the, the black cats give nine lives. So he would kill, he would kill them, but it was a black cat who was sent, I don't know where he, this cat came from, but he was sent to kill this. I thought that was interesting, very symbolic. Because, you know, white people don't like black cats. But black cats give us fortune. They don't do nothing for us. They, they give us fortune. It means peace and fortune. And I did, I did a video on it. I thought it was very interesting. Yeah, he, he's a pimp, man. He's a pimp. It's supposed to be his fifth wife. And he's drinking champagne. Sinan is interviewing him too. And I'm like, wait a minute, I thought the black woman's guy, he's very superficial. So I don't give a, I don't give a fuck about this dude. People are, oh, it's polite. Da, 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 da. If, like I said, when, the, when, when, when it comes out in court, the, once the evidence said that he did it, he need to get locked up. Plain and simple. Case closed. Throw away the key. So when and who started the division? Well, number one, I, I think it was government. The government started to uh, get these, because uh, Marcus said, look, this is nothing new. I want to make this perfectly clear, Aliyah Muhammad. Aliyah, uh, this is nothing new, because Marcus Garvey was saying that back then in the 1920s, how the whites would get the most Coonish dudes, they coonish people they can find to cause confusion, and and sometimes they will elect them as or, or place them in, in 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 political parties, and they they get they be handpicked, and they they tend to speak for us. So we got to do our own investigation, and we got to do some background checking. Barack Obama, we. I try to warn him, this man ain't one of us. He wasn't one of us. Anytime he said, well, you know, I'm not for reparations. Oh, so, oh, because now you're becoming president, all of a sudden you're not, you, you don't, you, but you know about the racism, but you talked about it before you became president, but now you be, now you're running for president and all of a sudden you don't want to, all of a sudden you don't want to do nothing for black people now. But you see the racism. Okay, I got you. And plus, he's mixed, which I already knew he wasn't going to damn sure wasn't going to do nothing for us. I never voted for him. So we we see so we see a lot of escapism right now. It's a lot. It's a lot of hypocrisy going on. In these unconscious, they gotta stop calling it a community. Stop calling it a community because community is more unit because it's a unity thing, and none of these people are unified. There's more beefs and division among these unconscious folks. And every time. When one of one people like me and Brother Bakari, we try to get the ball rolling, is always these freaks coming out talking about, well, you're you don't look African and you're not African and and what what will you what that got to do with anything? I told you who I am. My ancestors told me who I am. 
but they want to get they want to be they want to just be stuck on what they want to be stuck on stupidness they want to bang on the accomplishments we did 5000 years ago and the, the inspiration of african history and culture but they want to be stuck on what happened 500 years ago or like slavery and Jim Crow. I don't want to talk about that all the time. I already know what happened to our people. I want to talk about how we're going to use the tools that our ancestors have brought to the forefront and how we can use it to our advantage. And I'm going to tell you this. And I said this, and Marcus Garvey said this, we need to be backed up by a government. By our own people. We got to do that. Because if we rely on somebody else that we're doing now, it's going to fail. Every race are backed up by their own government that looks like them. We have no protection in the United States because we're so busy hating on Africa. I don't hear I don't hear it I don't hear Italians do that. Did anyone hear Italians banging on Italy? I never heard Asians do that. Do you anybody hear any Asians banging on Asia? I never heard a Chinese Chinese banging on China. We the only race of people that we will bang on our own, our own motherland. And then when you want to know why we haven't got nowhere, yeah, yeah, the un yeah, our country community is now in the pickle. Right now, due to the police case, it is on trial in the court of the public opinion. Yeah. Yeah. But I just, like I said, we, we got to stay focused. We got we to gotta stay focused. All that is a distraction. And like I said, if he did it, he need to get locked up. He committed a crime. You don't you don't get no special treatment because he's conscious or unconscious, whatever he's he or he's a no, you don't because he's brother polite. No, he don't get no special treatment. You don't get no special treatment, dude. I don't respect people like that who don't practice what they preach. He's a hypocrite. You in Beverly Hills and you meeting all these celebrities you met. Floyd Mayweather, he was cool with Floyd Mayweather when Mayweather was still supporting Gucci. When Gucci did that racist stuff, making racist clothes, that mistral stuff, black people with big red lips and all that, he would, and and once, and, and Mayweather support, still support Gucci, you had Brother Polite, he's, he, he was comfortable with that. Didn't even didn't say, hey man, you 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 know that it's wrong, man. You, you know you can't you can't do that. But no, you you because you trying to get to the bag. Your dignity is you was out the window. Your pride was out the window. He was so busy kissing butt instead of saying being a man and say, hey brother, you wrong for that. You can't support that. The manhood, what happened to the manhood? All these, all these unconscious cowards. Got a lot of unconscious cowards out here. People, you got these guys, these so-called men and women, who are supposed to be so-called conscious, on uh, they 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 are into this escapism bull and escapism turned to hypocrisy
they rather sit there and talk about who we are as a people, who did what. They want to talk about what somebody else is not doing. Instead of saying, instead of doing their job and their purpose and getting getting with the right people and doing the right things, doing their part. No, I, I agree that, but my whole thing is this, how long we going to talk about that? You see what I'm saying? I, 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 you know, don't get me wrong. We should, like I said before, we should check our people. I said this. We should, when, we, hell, even when people use the N-word, our own people use the N-word, we should just, we should check them. We should check them. But it should not. It should not derail our purpose. We gotta check our people. No doubt about that. I agree. And we should check our people. We should be able to. We see our people doing stupid shit. We should be able to check them. Not not the enemy. Especially if it's against our way of life. Because trust me, ain't no real man going to allow some grown dude to mess with their young daughter. I agree. We should, like I said, we should deal with them. We should deal with them. We should deal with anybody that mess with our family. That should be that you know, that should be something natural. That should be a natural thing that black people should be doing. You should protect your family of all costs. Somebody mess with your son or your daughter. You know what I'm saying? They should be dealt with. I don't care what race they are. We got to stop doing that. Well, he's black. You can't do that. You do it with the white man. I hate that. No, they get the same treatment because since they want to be like the enemy, they should get treated like the enemy. Plain and simple. That should, that should be a natural thing. I'm talking about doing the work that we supposed to be doing. I believe in multitasking. I don't know about y'all, but I believe in multi. I believe in whipping ass and doing the work. But that should be, that's why I say we got to start doing some nation building. When I represent, I represent the RBG nation. Because here in America, if you live in the United States, the United States respects nations. They do not respect populations. Let me say this again. They respect nations and not populations. I'll put the link in the chat if anybody want to come on. Good to hear some. There's a link in the chat. Anybody want to come on and join me? So we have to come together as a nation. So if the word black, the black race, and we can use that to come together because that's what the United States can recognize. Oh, okay, no problem. But we need to come together as a nation. 
Like I said, United States respect color. They don't care about, you know, you know, so if we could be a black nation, okay, fine. You have a white nation. Like I said, they respect a color code. That's why I think color should be, I think race should be our, our main religion. And it should be respected. Are you black like me? Okay, let's come together. Let's build. We shouldn't, we shouldn't grill each other and look at each other and or if I bump you or why are you bumping me, you know, all this attitude. But when it comes down to the enemy, where's that same energy? Where is where's that same energy at? Where's that same energy? Just like that bozo B1, he had no problem to, oh, I was about to come over and, and, and he was gonna come travel all the way to see me, to to, do, to hurt, to, to harm me. But when it came down to the angry Viking, he didn't do that. He bowed down to them. They should be respected. Hey, what's going on, sister? Peace, brother. Peace. Uh, yes, sir. Let me mute you. Let me mute you on my TV. Okay. But I, I just didn't want. I don't. I'm not coming in to rebut or. No, I'm just coming mind. in to bring. No, speak your mind. Yes, sir. I'm just bringing some reason. I'm just bringing some reason into this point. Whew. For so long, we keep saying that we need to come together. Ooh, I went off. Okay, can you still hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, I'm sorry, sir. I, I had a little glitch. So long we've been saying we need to come together, and that is true, but we have to look at the source of where the divisiveness came in and how it affected every group out here that is I believe solely, primarily trying to help bring awareness to our people. I really believe that. And so where the divisiveness came in is when we began to start seeing battles amongst the groups, hatred starts stirring up amongst the groups, accusatory spirits start growing up amongst the groups, lying, cheating, and then competition. Mm -hmm. And all of that stuff, which was surrounded around New York, which was surrounded around Sinetta TV and Sinetta's Black News, that's when all the battles started. Now, now, you might not remember, but I do. There was not no battles going on until they started those battles back when Sarah Setti was coming over there and battling with whoever he was on stage with. And then, you know, wherefore I think it started off as an instrument to drop knowledge, it, it evolved into battles where brothers were at each other because of what they were standing on. Instead of us coming together like a house and building and putting the different building blocks, we start tearing down the building blocks. Because then it became when polite got real strong, <coughs> then it became they tried to tear down. Hebrew Israelites, then Islam, then the RGB. Oh, you're breaking up. Situation over there with polite and Sinatra and them, because it's not just them, too. This is God. This, this is, you could say our ancestors bring in justice. Because I can remember it was not that bad into all of this competition. And, and we even have to go as far as the breakfast club is even concerned. All that negativity started coming out of New York and almost spreading across the, the, the globe, almost. And it did not show anything about scholarship. 
It did not show anything about spirituality. Lately here in the last five, seven, five years, it has not been showing any of that. It's just a lot of fighting and arguing and who's right, who on the throne to the point. Now, some of them brothers are even talking like they are the almighty God and you should follow them. Like they have a heaven or hell or a paradise or anything else to put us in, you know, and that's what we need to do. See, their, their, their style of knowledge has crept in all the immoral behavior that we did not have back in the 60s and 70s and that we were trying to get rid of in the 60s and 70s. But by the time the 80s and 90s came around, it was full-fledged again. And they just brought a hip-hop style of knowledge and called itself pure holy knowledge and start spreading that stuff across the United States to whomever who was listening to Sinetta TV. Now, I, I, for one, was not one. Yes, I knew about it every now and then when I would see certain subjects, I would tune in for a minute to see what I was hearing. But I never heard anything of any validity or any foundation. I knew exactly where it was going to. Like all, like our parents told us back in the day, birds of a feather flock together. You, can, If you just sit up now and think about the people who was on that show and the position they are in today or have been in over the last seven years, you can see that it was nothing good coming out of Nazareth, <laughs> period. And the walls of Jericho now are falling down. The, and it's time. Because what you want to do, what I want to do, and what others who are pure hearted want to do cannot be done until this is burnt away, gone. And that go for even this fool that you're talking about today as well. <laughs> it has to be severed from us. Then we can come together, whether it's from different directions or understanding, and sit down and have a talk about the things that we have in common. Our, our natural enemy and what we need to do for ourselves and how we are going to approach it. That's what needs to happen. Then from there, whether you GRGB, Marcus Garvey, Noble Drew, Elijah Muhammad, Jesus Christ, ever, oh, that's going to be seen as we are building just what is, what is the right thing to do because Mr. Muhammad taught us before he left one important thing and that was long before there was any institutionalized religions or organizations we were here and we had great civilizations and we had great high moral standards and so therefore all this that's going on has nothing to do with my messenger I am sorry you are, you're a fool whoever you are I don't even know you but the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was a very moral man. And as he was described in the Bible as the unblemished lamb, that's exactly who he was. And I'm not getting ready to argue that point. I don't have to. But I will speak it and let it go. Because like I said, when we can get to a point where we can all sit down after we have weeded out the people that we see now that's all in the news and all of their effects. Then we can sit down and discuss what we need to do to rebuild as long as we love one another as being black men and black women. That's, see, that's what we had in common in the 60s and 70s. It wasn't say it loud, I'm R.G. Bree, say it loud, I'm, I'm Nation of Islam, say it loud, I'm Marcus Gray. It was say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. And that's what united us. That's what I said. That's what I said the same thing. I, and that's why I called in, just to let you get. See, you weren't there, though. I was. My mother was I there. Marched with, I marched with Martin Luther King's, no, I'm sorry. Go King's Go brother when he came and went around and continued his brother's work after he got killed. I was a young girl, but I did. Mm -hmm. I was involved in my community because that's what I was taught in the Nation of Islam as a woman, to love my people and be involved. And I've been involved in a lot of things. AARP, the All Revolutionary Party. I've been involved in a New Black Panther Party with my brother, Dr. Khalid, 
who a lot of people talk about but never knew him. I did personally, strongly friends. That was my brother. So, you know, it, it's, it's a lot of layers to this. But if once we get past this dilemma with this pedophile and an abuse of our sisters who, without us, how will we continue the nation? So the black woman and the young sisters need to be well protected and guarded and have the right food so they could continue bringing better and in a better grade of gods on this planet. You know what I'm saying? Goddesses on this planet. And so therefore we first got to circle our wagons and get to the point that we can get out all the immorality and the stupid stuff that we don't need and let's move forward. And that's what I wanted to say. Thank you, brother. Anytime, anytime. And I totally agree. I think, but I want to say this though. Now the battles really wasn't really, it wasn't really new, right? Because you had Malcolm and King, they was going at it. And 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 they, well, I know Malcolm would throw shots of Dr. King's religion. And if you, I don't know if you read the autobiography, but he, he talked bad about Christianity. He was saying Christianity don't allow the black man to fight. Sir, but, but beloved, we, we cannot, we cannot compare uh -huh. any of you all today with the likes of Malcolm X and Martin Luther King. And we know that that was a different era too. And our people weren't divided as they are today. That that was Martin Luther King was trying to deal with the black people on the Christian because that's all they knew. But then Malcolm was something bringing something new on the scene, and so therefore, that's that wasn't no battle. It was just the battle for what was going to be best for our people. That's all I'm saying. Right. Now, but that's what, when 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 even when Sarnetta, That's how I took it. I took it when I used well, to go. We to all did, but we see now was a farce. That's no, 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 no. You're right. I'm not. I'm. It's. 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 A, it's. A, it's. A, it's. A, it's. A. This. This hit me out. Right. When I. I used to go to the lectures. I. No, not the lectures. I used to go to the debates because I want to learn what was best for black people. What was best for black people? Now I think it started out, and this is this is my opinion. I just started out as something that it was. Uh, I think it started out. I think it started out. And you know, I just want to say, but you know, I know how it started out, but you got to now, now we got to go beyond what we thought right. and do the investigation that we should have did. Because what you had was a bunch of ex cons, <laughs> a, a bunch of ex cons who found a way to pimp the people. That's all. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. Yeah. And we see that. We see that. Um, and 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 that now it's sad, but yeah, you're right. I mean, we see the brother polite, you see uh how he used the money and how he going out to Beverly Hills, and now it's the women that he's getting a lighter and lighter, you know what I'm saying? So it yeah. you know, it, it is a slap in Absolutely. the face. Absolutely. It is a slap in the Absolutely. face. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I, I, and may I, I say this? May I say this? Sure, sure. That even goes for that fool over there. As soon as he got released from the mental institution, he did the same thing. He started going around trying to pimp our people. <laughs> you see, they all run. That's why I said birds of a feather flock together. They all had some type of institutionalized time behind bars somewhere. And they come out and don't know anything else to do and have any other resources so they do that. They did what they have done in front of us because none of them had any real education, like you said. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's so true. Yeah. Yeah. And and you know and like I said, I think I think it, there's nothing wrong of seeking knowledge. A lot of people want to find out the truth because we got to understand. We got to be. We got to be real with it. A lot of the stuff that we was we was born mm -hmm. into. A lot of yes, stuff sir. that we was. But you we know was, what, beloved? But beloved, mm -hmm. I'm not faulting you and brothers and sisters out here that were seeking knowledge. No, I'm not faulting them. 
I am saying the blame went with those who called y'all to come and listen because they were not a pure glass of wine. Mm. That's what I'm saying. Right, right. They right. gave y'all bad wine out of a bad wine bottle. If it had been pure wine, it would have been a beautiful thing. And, it, and it's intent that you thought was a good thing mm -hmm. or all the rest of the youth that went up there in the last 10, 20 years. Mm -hmm. But what it turned out to be was wrong. But then we, we're not going to be hard on ourselves because this is the time we're living in right. and it's going to determine and it's going to bring the distinction, the time that we're living in today. You, you agree? Yeah, I agree. Okay. So that's where we at. So you know what? It's just for those like yourself to just stand on their square and stand up for what they know is right and do what they have to do to make it clear what they're not going to accept in life and then let the chips fall where they may. Because, you know, it might take a minute or it might happen instantly. But this is one thing I know. And I told that fool over there in St. Louis the last time I ever talked to him, which has been in February 2014 that his day was going to come. I said, you're dead. You just messed with the wrong sister, brother. Because I haven't done anything to you, but told you you are not my type and I did not want to be with you any longer. Sexless marriage, do I look? You've seen me. <laughs> do I look like the type of woman that would be in a sexless marriage? No. <laughs> no. So he's a liar. He <laughs> lies on Noble just like he lied on me. I never, I never. <laughs> now he's even mad. At, he's madder at me because he feel like I didn't took Noble from him. Oh well. Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I love you. I always will. We're going to have our day, but we got to get some things on the table, okay? But until that day, you're still my brother. And I will always respect and appreciate how you came at this nigga because it was time and you were the one that stepped up and did it. And like you say, as far as Brother Maurice, I don't give a damn if Brother Maurice, brother, whatever his name is, likes me or not, because he is like no brother that I've ever known. <laughs> OK, <laughs> Brother Maurice is not. This is why I know he taught himself how to be a Muslim by a damn CD. Because he's had no training. He has no training. I've had brothers. I've had brothers who will defend me because a brother, he thought a brother said something wrong. Mm -hmm. And here you are, you know this man is wrong. This this subject is wrong. This mental patient is wrong. And you won't even let him know he better step back. Like he a big bad wolf or something. And I and I came to you as my brother to try to share with you something. And you you just reject it because you know more than me. Well, we will see. Because not only is what he's trying to do going to be a farce, it's going to be very ineffective and it's going to make a lot of people mad. Mm -hmm. And like you, I, as his sister, I tried to advise him to shut it down because it's not going to come to fruition. Oh, he don't have enough help. He don't have enough help. <laughs> and then he, 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 he's, look, this is something you wouldn't understand, but he's hooking up with the wrong type of people. He's hooking up with infidels and, and, and backbiters down there, old people who don't know nothing. You understand? Mm -hmm. And listening to them thinking what they telling him is going to help him, but it's not. And I wanted to help him. So, you know, calling me, getting loud with me and all that, first of all, I don't take disrespect. And mm -hmm. I'm a lioness. Mm -hmm. So when you roar at me, you better expect I'm going to roar back. So, you know, I, 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 don't, I, I, can, I don't even know what to say about that situation. You cannot train yourself to be a FOI, not a real one. Mm -hmm. Not a real. I don't know what Farrakhan them is doing over there. But in the nation of Islam, I was born and raised in. That's not how it went. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't care nothing about Brother Maurice, Tommy, cool out, who in the hell you are. Now, I will tell you, 
when it comes to my grandfather, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, I will not only, I'm not going to take too much disrespect, but I will say this. We know you all have been fed lies since 1975. We know y'all have. So I, I, I don't get too upset. But now you, you see me on here and I'm telling you that's not the truth. So why don't you just leave it alone? See, this is divisive right here, brother. He might be your guest, but he's being divisive because this is what I'm talking about. Once we get all the immorality out of us and stop talking about dead people, you understand what I'm saying? Because the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is dead. So I'm, I'm standing up for what I know. It ain't got nothing to do with whatever he did, if he did it. So why are you coming at me with it? We're talking about another thing on here, bro. You is no, just he, a divisive no, he, fool, whoever he, you are. He said, he said Maurice is another big time <laughs> phony. He loves the cracker. And lives enough, and lives around them with no fear, but he's he, but and, he and he's people. right about that. But I hope he's not throwing everybody, that as a jab. Maurice everybody is not one thing. of my brothers. Everybody Maurice is not thing. one of my brothers, so I don't care nothing about what he's saying. Mm -hmm. We don't we don't need him to interfere with the with the throwing, trying to throw jabs. That's all I'm saying. That's all he's been trying to post. But this is your show. I'm just we could do. I've told you once. I will come on your show and we will deal with the Malcolm and the Honorable Elijah Muhammad stories. Because that's all y'all been told is stories. I was there. I know what happened. And I know how my messenger felt about Malcolm. And I did a video on Sister Noble's page. But we, I can do the same thing on your page. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't care about what nobody said. I'm just saying, I want to bring love and peace and harmony. I'm not coming on here. I'm not cloud chasing because I could have been had a YouTube channel. Could have been had one. But I'm not interested in that. I just want my people to know the truth. And when I see people like yourself trying to come from your heart, then that's what I'm attracted to. So that's I'm not good. saying anything about what he's saying about Maurice. He's right. Whatever he feel about Maurice. Because I think Maurice was dumb to move his family from where he was and quit his job on a dream that came from the idea of a madman. I try to warn him. I we all have tried. Him. I try to warn him. If that, if that, that idea had to come from Satan, it didn't come from God. He's crazy. So how could it have came from God? It didn't come from the ancestors. This nigga's crazy. So you gonna believe and go on something he said? <laughs> wow, what does that say? So Amen. anyway, Amen. That I agree. Same All man. right, beloved, you have a good show. I'm I'm still going to listen in, and uh, thank you for letting me say my few bits. But I agree with you, and and we and like Sister Noble said, we need to get the immorality, all the bad stuff, out of the way, so mm -hmm. we can get to a good, good point where we can sit down and and deal with the things that we agree on. So peace. Hotel, salam alaikum. Hotel, alaikum, ha salam. Um, I want to say this. We got to get rid of the weeds in our race. We got to get rid of the poison in our race. All the all the pseudo all the pseudoism, all this all this hypocrisy. We got we got to get rid of all of that. We got to get rid of all of that. And I don't want to be around people who have their have all this bitterness, all this bitterness to they to to their own people. I'm, I'm tired of that. And let me tell you this, Maurice, if you're watching, if you want me on, if don't come on my panel. If you want me on, I said I will come on your panel if you if you got my email address, let me come on your panel. You're not coming here. You want me to you want me 
You want to talk to me? Invite me on your panel. Imano, Imano, do not bring your goons around. Not that old bastard that you got on there. Whoever, whoever you got on there, try to play me. Cause you, you. That's why they let. That's why they allow you on. You want to talk to me? Let me come on your panel. We'll duke it out on your show, sir. Don't come on. Don't come on my. Don't come on my shit. You, you to me, you're a fucking traitor, and I don't fuck with you like that. You want to say something to me? You want to talk to me? Invite me on your panel, and we'll duke it out on your show. Okay? We'll do it that way. We'll set it up. I told you then. I said, let's set it up, and I'll come on your show. You and me. Because what you did, what you did, betraying me and making mockery and all this other stuff that has nothing to do with anything, you're going to come, you're going to come make, you're going to, you know, you, you want to come on my show? You, I didn't, I didn't invite you on my show because I put the link up. No, you're not coming on there. You should know better than that. Send me an email. You got my email address, sir. Send me an email. Set it up and I will come on your show. And we'll do it out on your show. You're not coming on here. Get the fuck out of here. I try to help, I try to help this brother. Well, he's not my brother, but I try to help this 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 goofy dude. And you taking shots or shots at me and your and your in your channel that got terminated, which is supposed to get terminated. Well, why don't you come to my city and say to my face? Since I'm a coward, come to my city and say to my face. See, this is the shit that I'm talking about. Escapism. You rather you rather keep attacking me. You didn't say that to that to that did that did that did that old bad that called your wife a whore. Did you 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 say that to him? He, this that the Uncle Ruckus called your wife a whore. You got punked by a white man called called uh uh that Neanderthal angry Viking. You got punked by him. You slept with a white girl. Do I can keep going on and on? And you and you and you and you a Muslim? Are you talking like this? You a Muslim? You a Muslim? Muslim people don't talk like this. Do Farrakhan approve this, sir? Do Farrakhan approve this? You're not coming on my panel. You're not coming on my panel. Invite me on your show, sir. Invite me on your show. No, you call me names? You call me names? And then you're going to think you're going to come on my show? You're not a Muslim. Stop saying that. You're not a Muslim. You're not a Muslim. You're fake. You're B-Rab. You're fake. You're not a Muslim. I, know, I met real Muslims. They don't talk like you. You're very disrespectful. I know Muslims. When If, if, if I would have called a Muslim, a brother who was a Muslim, and if I said his wife was a whore, I would have got my ass beat. I met real soldiers who Muslim do. When I saw you in Philly, you wasn't popping that shit. Now you see, you still, now I want people to see, he's still coming back on. Why you, get off my dick. Get off my dick. <laughs> you still riding on my shit. Get off my dick. You're not a Muslim. Now what? See, look, I want people to look at he said, fuck you, I will see you in, in your city. See? You see the threats? 
I want people to see this. You see the threats? Did you have that same attitude with Angry Viking? Did you say anything that you was going to come to the city? Or what about the white girl that made all constant videos exposing your ass? Did you say that you was going to come to her, come to her city too? I see your mouth moving. <laughs> you look like a fucking idiot right there, bozo. You look like an idiot. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. This dude called your wife a whore, and you not one. You gonna worry about him. You gonna worry about him. How come Maurice does not have the same energy for the enemy when he walks? Exactly. He's in a white neighborhood. You left Tennessee or wherever you came from to go to Cold Waters, Mississippi in a white neighborhood. There's no more talking with you, sir. I'm done. You want me on your panel? You put me on your panel. Let's schedule that. Schedule something. I come on your panel. We'll do get out on your panel. Guy ain't saying nothing. The fuck out of here. The fuck out of my panel, dude. Talk is cheap, homeboy. You bring all that heat towards me. You bring all that heat towards me. And I want people to see this with exactly what I'm talking about. All this escapism. He don't have that same energy for the enemy. And he's walking up and down the block in the neighborhood. I don't have no respect for you. Now I don't want that type of I don't want that type of no I I no I'll I'll make his show popular. See, this is escapism. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Black people have heat for other black people, especially if they're trying to do the right thing. And you hear the sister saying, Hey, Maurice wasn't there for me. And he's supposed to be a Muslim. So he claims. But even he told me that he's not a trained FOI. He, he looked at some DVDs and that he, he put himself, he changed his name to a Muhammad. That shit don't count. He never met Farrakhan. Don't come, don't bring, don't come over here bringing no negativity on my channel. I, now, I, if you want me to come on your channel, that be your show. I come on your channel. I want people to see that. The threats. I, I hope Sister Noble see this too. Sister Noble, I hope you saw that. I hope the FBI and the CIA, I hope they saw that too. These people need to be locked up. So-called unconscious goons, traitors. These people need to be locked up. You're not coming to my city to do nothing to me. And I bet everything I own. Don't do that. I don't take threats very kindly, dude. And you lucky 
I wasn't, I, you lucky I didn't live close to you. You lucky I didn't live close to you because I would have I would have seen what you was all about. I don't take threats too kindly. So I don't think you want to go there with me. So I think you better keep that heat to yourself. When you was talking shit about me, I didn't I didn't bother you. You said what you said about me, I didn't bother you. But you feel that you want to come on my panel. For what? To address what? You said what you had to say. I just asked you one question. I said, why did you allow this man, allow your boy to talk about me like that? You thought it was funny. You said it more, you said it more than once. How many times I defended you when people talk bad about you, when that Uncle Ruckus Talked all that negative, all that bad shit about you. Talked about your wife. I defended you. I defended your loved ones. It was me. Cause I don't do that. I don't. I don't get down. Get down with that stupid shit like that. You're not gonna do nothing to me. You wanna. You wanna email me. And let's schedule it so I can come on your panel. That's all I'm saying. If you can't do that, then you need to shut the hell up. Looking like a straight bozo. Now, I don't know why you talking. I can't hear you. But we got to stop this. All the escapism. This is exactly, people want to argue about Oh, well, we come from here and, and all this other stuff. And we got a, 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 a problem. You got these people who say they're conscious, but they threaten another black man. And you know what's so sad about this? It's not the, it's not the gang members that fucking with me. It's not the black person on the corner, you know what I'm saying? You know, don't bully it. Those are people, those people ain't bothering me. It's the people who claim they're conscious. That's doing the, the all this threatening. All this, I'm going to beat your ass and, 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 and try to make mockery, try to make fun of any little, any good thing you're trying to do. Because I said, I disagree of your idea and I show you evidence that it's not gonna work and you're gonna attack me? All of a sudden, I'm the enemy? You said I was the enemy. If I'm the enemy, Bozo B1, why are you coming on my platform? Why are you, want, why are you clicking on the link? I didn't ask you to click, I didn't ask you to come on. You don't scare me. Cause if you had that smoke, you should have had that smoke when I saw you in Philly. You didn't have no security either because the security that you had, you had him passing out flyers when you could have told your grown ass son to do that shit. You had your so-called so, so security passing out flyers when you could have told your grown ass son to do that shit. You didn't have no security. I was your security, sir. You remember that. I protected you. Uncle Ruckus was not there. I was. I had your back. Because you know I'm the real deal. You know I'm the real G. So you think you're going to do something to me? I welcome to it. I don't do no YouTube. I don't do no YouTube gang banging on here, B. Don't come over here with that nonsense. I'm telling you now, you stay in your lane. You do your walking through your white neighborhood talk. Because you didn't have that, you don't have that heat from them white folks who had them dogs. There's a reason why you carried a stick, right? You carried a stick in the white neighborhood because you know them dogs was going to bite you. See the see master dogs gonna get me, get, get away with, get out of here, dog, get out of here. Yeah, well, I saw you. 
get out of here. And you you better you better go. Sound like a sound like a runaway slave. Oh, them dogs. Oh, see, he ain't let the white man let the dog go around. Oh my God. You put yourself in that situation. Why are you complaining? Why are you complaining? You put yourself in that situation. So I I, I agree with Sister Aaliyah. We have to cut out the weeds when it comes down to our people. We have to do that. We got to separate the real from the fake. And we have to deal with the fake. All these imposters. Well, I'm a Muslim. Because you watched a couple of Farrakhan DVDs and you made yourself a Muslim. And I asked you, I said, Muslims supposed to get trained. You're supposed to get trained. You can't even talk the way you talking. Khalid Muhammad, as ruthless he was, he didn't talk like that. He didn't use the N-word. He didn't use foul language. Mark of Max was ruthless. Didn't use foul language and using the N-word and, 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 and he didn't do that. So don't ever don't you ever compare yourself to colleague and Malcolm ever again. I don't want you, I don't want to hear that. Don't you ever do that. Because you're a clown and I have no respect for you. Somebody talk against black women and you having a dis affair with a white woman, calling her beautiful and queen, you're going to disrespect Sister Erica. I have no respect for you. Anybody disagree with you, you're going to make a negative video about, about them like you did Brother Bakar. Yeah, I'm going to talk about you, punk. I don't, I don't bother you. But if you want me to come on your panel, set it up and I will come on. Plain and simple. But we got to stop all this bickering. Oh, we from here, we ADOS and all this other, we FBA. All this division, all this, cl all this clown division. Black people just making up stuff. Well, I'm an FBA. I don't know what that means. Or oh, I'm an ADOS. I don't know what that means. What is that? Well, I'm a descendant of slave. I'm a descendant of a slavery. So you are a descendant of a slave institution. I got you. It's real sad that we can't have our own system and have it be a selfish race where we can do for self. Even when it comes down to the small things, we can't do the small things. <laughs> we are African people. Our ancestors said that we are. I'm not going to listen to somebody who was born yesterday. We are African people. We come from land. We just need a government from, from the motherland to have our back. We can, we can live anywhere we want. And it's okay. If you want to live in the United States, it's okay. But at least have a government to back you up. United States is not going to back you up. Let me say this again. I want to all black folks who's watching, who may be watching the future, United States do not have your back. They never did. The 100 years of lynching, did America have your back? No. All these police shootings, did America have your back? No. You're not going to create a safe haven. There will never be a safe haven in the United States. 
if you don't have a government to back you up. If you don't have a major government to back you up, because when you're dealing with a state, you're dealing with a population. It's not a nation. It's not a nation. You're dealing with a population. And in the United States, the United States do not recognize populations. So when they said, what is the number of the population in these states, they will tell you the number of population. The United States do not recognize population. They, rep they recognize only nations. The FBA flag is not a nation flag. The ADOS, whatever that is, if they have a flag, it's not a nation flag. It's a population flag. We not, we don't want population flags. This is the reason why I represent the RBG. Because the RBG represent us as a nation. I can go anywhere. Anywhere among my people, they already they already know. Okay, he's he's with us. See, a lot of people don't know that. You can go to Jamaica. You carry that same RBG. They already know. Yeah, they, that's yeah, that's one. Of, that's he's our people. You go there with an FBI. They ain't gonna recognize. Who's that? What is that? But you go to the United States flag, oh, they recognize that too. Oh, yeah, we know about that. Okay, you from, okay, that's America, yep. So we gotta, we gotta be, we gotta be smart. We gotta stop being preachers and start being teachers. We gotta stop being preachers and start being teachers. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. People that know me personally, they know what I do. Brother Bakari knows what I do. He knows I, I he knows that I ain't no phony dude. He knows I'm not a I'm not a talker. Shout out to Brother Bakari. And I seen his work. Matter of fact, let me pull up something. I want to pull up with Brother Bakari. I like I like how he because I want to just show people. If Brother Bakari don't mind, I hope he don't mind if I do this. Just give me one second. Uh, I want to show the work that my brother. Because I, I like I like this. I, I really do. I really do. Um, okay, here we go. Let me show this. I like this. I, I really, I really like this. Shout out to Brother Bakar. I really like this. This is what I'm talking about. And I promise I was gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do it right now. And I want people to see this. You ain't got to say your name and nothing, but do you think your kids, did your kids just receive any books from me? Yes, they did. I just received two books from my little boy and my little girl. That's good, man. I hope they enjoy these books, they man. Know, they will. They love books. All right, bro. Get some more. One love, bro. It. Yeah, no problem, hey, man. Keep my name. his books for Picard and his bookstore. Yeah. You know, I ain't got the bookstore. I go somewhere else, but you know, this is something I do. I go to the bookstore and get, get the books. books. Yeah, where your little baby girl at? 
this is what I just go because I want our kids to grow up and be better than what we are. Now look at that. Look at that. That's what that's what we do. That's what I put my money on. That's what I put my money on. Helping our babies. We so busy doing all these other stupid foolishness. Mr. B1, where, where's your work? Mr. B1, you ain't you ain't ran for mayor yet? Then you say you was gonna run for mayor of Mississippi? Where's your work at? Where's your work at, Mr. B1? Initiative? I want people to look at this. This is what this is what I put my money on. I am investing into our babies. I want to give a shout out to Brother Bakari. He does great work. And then this this might this might be a little thing to some people. That might be a little thing, but it, it, it brings a big impact to our children. Teach our babies to 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 to, to have self love. So when they do the doll test again, they don't have to pick out the white doll. So they can start learning at a very young age, man. Yeah. And I was a young brother too. You see how you see how happy he was. Woman charged oh, in the murder of oh. man who was. I'm sorry about that. But you see how happy he was that someone cared. And you got people living these pipe dreams that's not working. But I want to see something tangible. What are you doing now that would lead up to big things? All this pseudoism and all this escapism. That's what black people are practicing. And that's just, that's just one of the videos. He got we got plenty of other videos where he's donating, he's giving away books to our for our babies. Shout out to Brother Bakar again. Because if you see my brother doing great work, why don't you share that? You got people, well, you know, Brother Bakar, you do great work, but you but you haven't shared it. You never shared his work. You never shared his work. You never shared his work. I want to put up something else. You never shared his work. That's uh, one of Brother Bakar's t-shirts. That's one of Brother Bakar's t-shirts. You imagine if black if all black people would just practice this, we we can we can once become rulers again. The dollar needs to circulate a hundred times before it leaves us.
Now, this is where I stand by. Black love plus black dollars equal black power. We need to stand by that. We need to practice that. And this is this is simple stuff. You want to get to the big things, but you people can't even do the most simplest things. Well, we got to think big, but you can't even do the most simplest things. You got to start small and then grow like a child. Child, you got to crawl. You got to learn how to crawl before you can walk. That's a part of nature. All this pseudoism. Well, you know, brother, you know, uh, you know, you're not really African people. Or, you know, the white man called the continent of Africa. What? Well, for Africanists, well, that's not true. So they try to make it seem black people are too silly or too stupid that they not, can't even name their own continent, name their own land. And then when you, every time you say, well, that's not true, and you show them the evidence, they still want to give credit back to the enemy. Just like when I did the Moors. That one one guy named Sheldon, he's out there, oh, the, uh, all, showing all these books created by the enemy. Well, look, they're giving us credit. They're showing us how great we are. I said, man, I don't need no enemies show. I know I'm great. I was born great. I'm great by blood. I don't need no enemy to tell me how great. Y'all need that. Y'all need that verification. I don't. And if y'all so great, then why the white man still rule it? So these are questions they cannot answer. Well, you know, you know, you do every from the white man, and the white man created this, and, and you got your pep. The white man have not, white folks have not created a damn thing. You said all these adventures that black people met created, but you want to give all these, all these credit to white folks. All these adventures that black people created, they created way before they got shipped over here. And white people, they they took the best. They didn't take any black person. They took the best of our people. And this is, you want to know why the United States became a wealthy country? Because they took the best of black people out of Africa. facts so uh, it's been damn it's been three hours in and um i'm just gonna end this live stream but um i want to say thank you thank those that that's what that watch this 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 program and um, I just had to speak my mind today. We got to stop with this. We got to stop with this escapism. We got to stop. We, we got to stop the escapism. All this, what you're seeing, is escapism. Under the unconscious neighborhoods, not communities. Neighborhoods, the pseudoism, the false teachings, like 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 the sister said, all this back and forth fake debates. It's escapism. As you witness, the the B rap wannabe, the B the the Arab the Arab wannabe. Just made a just made a public threat. Just made a public threat, 
and he don't care. That somebody disrespect your loved one, you didn't do, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't do, you didn't do that to him. Somebody disrespect your loved one, and you did not do that to him. Because I'm bringing out the truth, and now you upset. You in a white neighborhood, sir, because you are escaping something. You're not ready for battle. You was going to make this white girl your wife because you was escaping for something. You trying to you trying to preach about this Wakanda in Mississippi because you're escaping for something. No wonder you hate that movie so bad because you thought it was something, you thought it was some, 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 I don't know, you thought it was some revolutionary movie or something, but you don't know anything about comic books. Thor, Iron Man, all that is for children, sir. Has nothing to do with you. And if your kids like it, so what? Let them like the damn movie. Who gives a damn how you feel about the Black Panther? Bozo ass clown. You gonna come on my panel? I told you from day one to set it up, email me. So let me allow, allow me on your panel. And we'll duke it out on your panel. You don't come on my panel to disrupt nothing. You had these, you had that old, that old bad Muslim on there who say he's a Muslim, you had him talk bad about me. He don't, I don't even know him. And I don't even think he said he's been a Muslim for 40, 50 years. I don't believe that because he used the N-word. He has a filthy mouth and he thinks because he's he's talking to you, he, he, he also, he forget about his teachings. You a flip flopper, sir. You and that and that pedophile uh, uh, grease ball is another. And, and that Uncle Ruckus, y'all are sick people, and you use religion for your own personal gain. This is the reason why I talked about the Freemasonry thing, because Freemasonry uses these religions as a cult. This is the reason why you say we as B1, you know, we as this and, and us. No. It's a cult. That's Freemasonry. That's Freemasonry talk. The skulls and bones and all that. That's why I tell people study that shit. Learn that. Because they use those books as a tool to to say, no, see, they, they, they got those books on the table when you go to these Freemasonry events. And I showed that. These people are not for our people. These, these people are not for us. They're afraid of battle. They're afraid of real revolution. They can't even do the little things. He had that yellow banana. He had that banana dude come at me and he's part of the B1. You got a banana that's part of your B1. And you had him attack me. I have no respect for people like that. See, people like that, there's a code that we follow. Every race has a code that they follow. Black people have no code. They say we need to stay on code. So what's the code? I already know the code is. I already know the code is. 
Well, we need to stay on code. So what's the code to you? Bashing your own people? Making mockery? Saying that you love sisters, but then you bashing sisters? So I sat back, and for weeks I didn't say nothing. But these people keep calling my name, keep calling my name. So I said, you know what? I have to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to speak out. I'm going to, I'm going to address some things. I'm going to speak my mind because I see the fuckery. These people got too much time on their hands and they're not doing a damn thing. But you're just a bunch of fairy tale talk. Just a bunch of fairy tale talk. And it, I, don't, I don't care what people say. They can say, oh, I'm not doing nothing. And, 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 and you call me this and you call me, you call me all the names you want. It's not gonna change nothing. You're not gonna change me. I know what I'm doing. You know what you're gonna do? And I tell these people, like Uncle Ruckus and that Bozo one, you want to you want to impress me? Show me your work. Show me what you're doing for your people. Impress me that way. Instead of getting on YouTube talking about somebody ideology and all that's a form of escapism. Oh, you're not really African. That's escapism. Has nothing to do with nothing. Who cares? I told you what I am, and that's it. Leave it alone. Are we going to build or are we not? That's the question. That's the question. So... I want to say thanks for watching. I want to say uh, thanks to uh, Leo Muhammad for coming through. Appreciate your sister. Thanks to Sister Noble. Um, thanks to the thanks to Al, thanks to uh, Cold Hard Cold for coming through. Uh, I want to thank uh, Brother Bakari, Information Man, Cuckoo Cutter, and and Tommy Cool Cool Out. Thanks for thanks for coming in. I appreciate you. Appreciate all y'all for supporting the brother. Um, but let's let's be focused. Let's not have things to distract us. Yes, I do. We need to deal with our people that that try to uh, uh, harm our children or harm our family, harm our harm good brothers. I, I, I believe protecting my brother too. You my brother, I protect you. Brother Bakar is my brother. I got his back. CJ, that's my brother. Cool Cool Cutter, that's my brother. I like, I protect good brothers. I protect good sisters, decent women. I don't protect whores and all that. I protect decent women. And we got to be mindful. Every brother ain't a brother. Every sister ain't a sister. You're welcome, sister. But I want people to be mindful of this. Every brother ain't a brother. And as you can see, this B1 threatened me on YouTube. Ooh, I'm so scared. And he don't even know me. Dude, you don't know me. You met me one time. You met me one time.
You don't know no, you don't know nothing about me. And I'm I will protect my family by any means. And see, let me tell you something. Like I said, I'm just speaking for me. Matter of fact, let me let me um let me play what Barry White said. Let me see if I can find that. Let me find out what Barry White said. I want to show that. Let me uh, let me see if I can find that. Because <clears throat> I saw that video a while back. Let's see Barry White. Let me see. Let me see if it comes up. Uh, he did say that. Let me see if he can. Uh, let me see. Might come up. I don't know if he's going to come up. Let me see. Because I remember seeing that a while back. Bear away, let's see the care of the back. Okay. Okay, I think this might be it. Let me play this. Let me see this. See if this might be it. Hold on. I know a lot of people misunderstood. Okay, here we go. Uh all right, here we go. Let me let me screen share this. I'm going to end it with this one right here. Okay, let me end it with this. Because he, he, yeah, he was on Arsenio when he said this. Uh, I don't know. This could be it, but let me see. I'm going to play it. A lot of people misunderstood it, so I want you to be able to say it. Um, I think it was Details Magazine. And you talked about, you used the word God. Something to the effect you were. I made up my mind to make a change in my life when I was 16 years old. We are all gods on this planet, every man and every woman. We create life. We can take life. We control what goes into the sea, whether the fish can live or not. We decide if the trees can grow tall. We decide if the children will eat. We are very powerful beings on the planet Earth. And when I said a self-made God, I meant just what I said. Barry White changed his life. So you're right. Yeah. And people criticized the... So that's what he said. He made, he made a lot of sense. So when I say black folks as a race of people, we control our own destiny. We can control our own destiny. All the escapism and, you know, uh, you know, you talk, you talk pro black, but living pro white, giving white people credit. That's all that escapism. I don't get into escapism. I don't get into no pseudoscience garbage. This is the reason why I'm very picky who I associate with. Like I said, me and Brother Information Man, shout out to him. Now, me and him, we might have a little disagreements with him. Me and Brother Carl, we might have disagreements, but we're on the same page. Aliyah Muhammad, sister, we, me and her, we might have disagreements, but Hey, she knows I got her back. Sister Noble, we might have our disagreements, but she knows I have her back because I'm looking at race first. Let me put that in there. Race first. Race first. Let me put that in there.
We got to be race first. All the other stuff, your ideology or your religion, you got to put that in the back burner. You got to put that in the back burner. Your race come first. And I'm not saying neglect whatever you learn. If you don't eat pork, don't eat pork. If, you're, if your religion say don't eat pork, don't eat pork. I'm just saying. I won't ever tell you what you can't you can't do if you're if it's if it's helping you and helping you to be a better person. I will not change that. If Christianity make you a better person, I'm not gonna change that. If Islam make you a better person, I'm not gonna change that. Now I might disagree with it, but I'm not gonna change. I will never say, well, you cannot be like that. But if it make you a better person, I won't not change it. I'm not gonna, I'm not, I will never tell you to, to change something that's making you a better person, to make to show how you treat people. But never forget where you come from. Never forget who you are. You, you, you know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Your race come first. And that's a beautiful thing, to be proud of who you are. Be proud of your kinky hair and your wide nose and your thick lips and your dark skin. Be proud of that. That's powerful. That's why every race wants to copy. You see, white people, when they inject their, they make their lips big, inject their butts and all that, get their breast implants because they want to, you got a lot of, every other woman want to be, every race of women want to be like the black woman. Every race of men want to be like the black man. That's the reason they, they want to copy our style. It's facts. It's facts. But be proud of who you are. Don't give these people, don't give the enemy you, any type of credit. Stop doing that. That's a form of escapism. They don't need your credit. They don't need you to live with them, to marry them. So we got to practice what we preach. And we got to stick by those who are consistent and that and they and 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 they and that love their people and they would do anything to protect good people. There's one thing you don't want is want somebody that's coming from out of nowhere to destroy the minds of children like that like that little Nas X he's destroying a lot of mind children it makes me wonder how many children that's watching this dude and how the enemy used him as a tool to destroy our babies we got a fight on our hands all this other nonsense it's, it's pointless. And I tell people, either you're with me or you're against me. And if you're against me, you better stay over there. Don't come, don't come near me. Don't come making no threats. None of that. Not with all that. You're gonna have a you're gonna have a battle on your hands. I guarantee you that. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know who you think I am. Because trust me, I'm a warrior at the end of the day. So all that, all that tough talk, you got to keep that over there or use that for the enemy. I'm not that dude. So within I said, so when I, so within I said, I'm going to end this live. I want to thank y'all for watching. And like I said before, Let's be focused. Let's get away from this escapism. 
all this pipe dream nonsense, pseudoism. Let's get away from all that. Let's get down to business, plain and simple. All right, guys. Later.